In this video, we're going to discuss the proper procedure for breaking your gear apart and getting it ready to be washed. First, we're going to start with the breakdown of the gear. Take all your buttons apart so that you can separate your inner liner from your outer shell. Take the Velcro apart at the top. You also have the buttons inside of each arm of the coat that need to be unbuttoned. When all of the buttons are unbuttoned, take your inner liner. You've got a strip of Velcro on your inner liner by the collar that attaches it to the outer shell. We want to take that piece of Velcro and secure the two ends of the Velcro to each other to protect it while it's being washed and going through the drying process. We then take our inner liner and turn it inside out while it's washing. And we're going to keep it inside out for the drying process as well so that it dries quicker. We then put this in a pile as the inner liners and the outer shells will be washed separately. We're going to remove our DRD. and then secure the Velcro on the DRD tab. The DRD along with your suspenders will go into a mesh bag that can be washed with your inner liners. If you don't have a mesh bag, you can contact our logistics department and they will get you a mesh bag for your suspenders and your DRD. Next, with the outer shell on the jacket, we wanna make sure that all of the Velcro is secured to protect it. Zip your zipper up on your coat. If you have buttons, snap your buttons. And then line that Velcro up nice so that it stays protected. Check the pockets, make sure that those are protected. If you have anything inside of your pockets, you want to remove that before you put it into the wash. And lastly, you have your collar that you secure as well. Once all the Velcro is secured, where the buttons are snapped or the zipper is done, you can put that on the side. We're going to do the same process with the pants. We're going to take our suspenders off. And that's going to go inside of that mesh bag as well to keep them from getting knotted up. And again, the mesh bag will be washed with the inner liners. We're going to disconnect, unbutton all of the buttons on the pants along the waistline, as well as the buttons at the bottom of the pants. And just as we did with the jacket, once we have all the buttons disconnected or unbuttoned, I'm going to take the liners out. On the pants, there's no Velcro to secure, so all we need to do is turn those inside out for washing and drying. Put that in a pile with our mesh bag and our coats in our liner. For the pants, again, remove any tools or equipment that you have in your pockets. Line the Velcro tabs up so they're protected. And then line the Velcro up by the waist and buckle your buckle. That's going to go with your outer shells. So we wash these separately. The outer shells get washed together because it's got all the contaminants on it and we don't want that to come in contact or be washed and permeate into the inner liner that's going to be touching our skin. Lastly, we have our gloves. With gloves, you want to use a mild soap solution, put the gloves on and wash them in the sink with the soap just like you would wash your hands. Get in between the fingers 
and clean all the different parts of the gloves. When they're done, you're going to take them off and hang dry them. You don't want to twist them because that can twist the inner, the inner liner of the glove and make them to where they are ineffective. Once all that's done, you'll dry the liners by themselves and then you'll dry the inner shells by themselves with the, suspend and with the suspenders and the DRD you can hang dry. And that's how we wash our gear.